All right, Shalom. First, we want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Bay Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, this is just going to be like a quick, you know, advice slash commentary, okay? And, um, you know, just getting to the point, it's going to be concerning the uh, this um, live Q&A session that, you know, the apostles, you know, starting with uh, Apostle uh, Gabar, and I believe he said he was going to be doing it with Apostle Ramlov. Um, you know, more often, and you know, really just <clears throat> saying brothers should uh, take advantage of that, okay? You know, and 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 more so to to the young young brothers. You know, there's certain questions that you might have, which you know it might be it might be very specific. You know, so you might you know ask it as long as it's like like the apostle said, it's edifying and it's not just you know some 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 random question, okay? You know, take advantage of that. Okay, because yeah, there's times when, you know, at camp, you might be trying to ask a question or whatever it may be, but in the spirit has the topic go in one direction, okay? But, you know, all in all, it's for the edification's sake, okay? And even if you don't ask a question, hey, go in there and, and watch it, you know? Because guess what, man? Somebody else might have a question and then in, and in the apostle answering their question, they could go through certain precepts that will answer a question you might've had, you know? And so it's all through the spirit that ultimately that the Lord had it, had them come out, you know, and, and do that. Okay. So just take advantage of that, man. All right. And concerning, uh, concerning younger brothers too. Look, man, when you, when you, it's understandable when you first come into the truth. All right. It's, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's a different experience and all that, but you got to understand, man, you're not going to be babied in this thing. All right. All the way, man. Okay. You you have to you have to you have to uh, uh, uh you know see what's going on, all right. Pick up quick and go with it, okay. You know you don't need to be told everything, all right. You 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 see the basics, all right. You watch you watch brothers and see how you're supposed to conduct yourself and use some spiritual common sense, okay. Read the scriptures, man. Not everything is going off, okay. Oh oh oh, damn! I didn't I didn't I didn't lay my bed before I slept. Is that going off? No, all right. So you got to use common sense with certain things, man. All right, and actually read the scriptures and, and 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 see what it is. And mainly, you know, when you when you first come in, the best advice would be to just soak soak up everything you see. All right, concerning the the the, the doctrine. All right, in in sincerity and in truth. Okay, watch it. Okay, learn from it. Just just watch watch the videos. Okay, and hey, I actually had a, a brother ask me yesterday. You know how many videos he should watch a day? Listen, man, I told him there's no. There's no forced number or set number you have to watch a date, okay? The Lord puts the spirit on you to watch whatever, whatever amount of videos that, you know what I mean, he wants you to watch, okay? I can't tell you watch 20 videos a day or 200 videos a day, you know, because at the end of the day, somebody can watch 30,000 videos a day and they can still be not of the elect, all right? It's about the spirit of the Lord and that's why you have to pray. And this is, this is for all of us, man. We always have to pray for the spirit of guidance, okay? And, and, and direction, all right, so that we walk after the steps of the Lord, all right, we walk in the direction that's pleasing unto the Most High, that's what we want to pray for, okay, that's, 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 that's really how, how you keep going in this truth, man, when you watch, when you read about King David, all right, the scriptures say he was a man after the Lord's heart, okay, because he did things that were pleasing unto the Lord, okay, he did things that the Lord, like, he wouldn't do anything without asking the Lord first, okay, and that's important. That's key in this truth, man. We always got to, we always have to uh, uh, understand that, you know, and I know I'm not, I'm not really pulling precepts right now. Okay. Because I, at the moment I'm not able to, however, you know, it's just, Hey, like the scriptures say, it's within us, you know? So we, we quote it, we refer back to it. Okay. And that's what it is, man. You know, if you, if you come up, if you come up to a camp, you know, and, and you're, you're trying to learn or whatever, actually come to learn just like if you go to school you don't go to school just to sit there man you go to school you take a book all right a notepad all of that you take a you take a notepad you take all of that okay so that you can learn you take your pencil you got your eraser you're writing down whatever it is that you need to learn you, you know all of that okay that's 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 the importance man so really this is like a school all right, this is like a school when you when you when you when you uh, uh, when you come when you come to the camps, it's like a school, and you're supposed to come in the same mindset of being diligent and trying to and trying to study, 
okay you write down precepts you ask questions so when you go home you can study it not just so you can just you know lollygag around because if you if you're doing that if you're studying you're writing down precepts you're actually going home you're praying you're, you're doing what you have to do you will need somebody to to to, to grab you by the the, the 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 pinky and walk you every two seconds of the way all right the lord will guide you like it says in revelation uh three around the 20th verse all right that the lord is, uh, he he knocks and if you open the door all right he'll come in and sup with you okay god, that's what god. it says god that's the spirit and um i just want to add on real quick too um you need to understand that you know teachers are brought here by the most high to teach what the sheep okay now we could watch if i mean i'll, I'll give it a, a prime example the spirit is really what leads everybody to do what they do like the brother said earlier okay so younger brothers i i advise you it's best to go up to these churches and ask questions and meet your teachers in person that's the best way to learn really you can watch videos all you want but sometimes it's, it's you when you get that personal uh one-on-one -on -one questions answered yo that's the best feeling man okay and this is from ancient philosophers man they had this idea okay this philosopher uh, uh seneca he used to write a lot of letters okay letters from a stoic is a book i advise brothers to go get and read okay and he had so many different things and he used to write letters to his his um his his um his um his students if you will okay and some of the things that he said he was basically talking about uh uh, uh him learning so he can teach okay he said that it's best for me to learn so i can teach and what what good is it to have something valuable if you can't share with somebody else if you have something good with yourself, then it's it's kind of like oh nobody can really experience what you're experiencing. It's whack. Yeah, how should I said that? He said, exactly. He said you get the light, don't hide it under like a, a bed. You put it, it on the top of the mountain. So that's it. Under a bushel. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. You know. And this right here it says personal converse, which is what conversation though, and daily intimacy with someone will be of more benefit to you than any discourse. Okay. So when you're able to uh, communicate with somebody else, another brother in the truth. Okay. It's way better than communicating with yourself because our minds sometimes, hey, that's the spirit. Sometimes you might you might be thinking something, but then it happens to me all the time with my brother. I might be thinking something. I might have a, a, a breakdown to a, a precept or whatever it might be or understanding to a precept. And I'll talk to my brother about it. And he would be like, oh, actually, this means this. And you can add on to this. And then if you go here to this precept, it means this. And then right then and there, we edify each other and we learn from that. Okay? Go on, go on. And then what? You learn from that, and that's how you build. You build yourself up. You can't build yourself alone. You got to build with somebody else. Just say where two or three are where gathered. Two or three are gathered. There, I'm in the midst of them. It. Okay. It says what? You should really be here and on the spot. Okay. Instead of sitting home and just being comfortable, you've got to go out there. Whether it's the winter time, whether it's the summertime. Okay. Whether it's raining. Paul said you got to make your body a living sacrifice. A sacrifice. You know, okay. and if you like you said, if you're home, you can easily get distracted. God. You know, your your phone, whatever it may be, you mm -hmm. can easily get distracted. Somebody might call you. But when you're out there, listen, man, you, you put your phone on silent, all right, and you're you're locked in. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say thine eye shall see thy teachers. God. Okay? God. So you gotta go up there and you gotta you gotta really see it, man. God. In the in the house shots time, then nobody was and they weren't on no iPads and, and YouTube. No. They were going to see how was shy. All right, the multitudes will go and find him to see him. God. All right. God. Hey, and it's what continuing it says what? <laughs> uh, you you should must be here on the spot, man. Okay. Firstly, because people believe their eyes rather more than their ears. Okay. And it's it's common sense. When you hear something, it's kind of like oh I heard it, but when you see it, you believe it more. Yeah. Okay. He says secondly, because the road is a long one if one proceeds by way of precepts. Okay. When you when you read a lot of precepts or when you when you basically when you do a lot of reading, it, it, it makes it makes learning even harder. It makes it longer. But when you have somebody to break it down to you right then and there, you get a quick understanding because they use few words to break it down to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we have teachers. Okay, sometimes I read the whole entire uh, chapter of a book and I watch that one of the elders apostles teach and, and break it down and boom, just like that. Okay, just like that. Within <coughs> minutes, he broke everything down and you out here with all the understanding that you need. And then when you go back and read the precept again or the whole chapter again, it's so much easier now, you know? Okay. That's why it's so important to have teachers who teach you. And you got to do your <coughs> part. Barakatha. <coughs> Barakatha. You got to do your part as a student to come out here, be studious, study, and also go out there and ask questions, man. Okay. It doesn't hurt to go see your teachers and ask them questions, sincere questions. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says what? Um... It says, uh, uh, by way of precepts, but short and effectual if by way of personal example. Mm -hmm. 
And Yahweh was the personal example. He it took him three years, okay? Three years to teach his disciples what they need to know to go out there and teach the nation of Israel. Now, before those three years, when he was with them, what were they doing? They were reading the law. They knew the law, okay? They knew the law, says the commandments, but they weren't doing it according to his will, all right? And so were the Pharisees and Sadducees, man. You read all these precepts, all these laws and stuff, but you don't understand it. They were they were keeping the laws. They weren't fulfilling it. That's so it. They weren't keeping it to the fullest. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you know, you know. that's pretty much. I want to. I don't say that. Yeah, you're right. You know, that's that's really. You know, that's really it. All right, it's not gonna be a long video. It's just a quick, you know, quick video. I was just thinking about this. You know, the Lord hit the put the spirit on me. I was just thinking about this. Like, yeah, you know, like, hey, we gotta understand. We do videos, but it's not just for brothers who've been in this in, the, in this thing for for maybe one one two three years and up. No, you have new fruit that's coming in, which you might not even be aware that they're watching your channel. You know. So you got to remember when you teach and keep that in mind so that you, you you elaborate on what you say and you don't just say it as though everybody's on a common same playing ground. OK, you have to remember Esau. Sometimes you got to every once once twice you break it down, which are the so-called. All right. Or, or you Israelites, which are or when you say Jake. Jake is a Jake is a, is a term we use because we know what it means. It's short for Jacob. All right. Whose name later got changed to Israel and is representing the, the tribes, the 12 tribes. So we say Jake for short. But, you know, sometimes you got to throw it in there and break it down. So whoever's listening, they're not just like, Jake, who's Jake? Is that like a, a person? Like, ooh, Jake, one person? You know? Uh, you got to you gotta sometimes, you know, break that down in there as, as, you're, as you're teaching it. Uh, hey, and all 12, all 12 tribes are Jake. We normally, when we normally say Jake, we normally refer to the northern, uh, southern kingdom. But all 12 tribes are Jake. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah, that's really it. All right? Brothers, just keep that in mind. And also, you know, younger brothers coming in. You know, which I, hey, we're, we're all young. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm me personally. I'm I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not I'm not old in this. I'm young, but hey, it's just like you know you being being going through it, man. There's that the, the first, exactly the first few trials you go through is basically generic. Mm -hmm. You know, the hindrance when you first find out about the truth, it tastes like honey. You know, you haven't hit the bitter yet, so you're just like oh yeah la 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 la. Well, guess what? It's gonna come, man. So you gotta you gotta prepare for that. All right, but I'm not going to drag this video. Low willing, this is Edifying unto the elect. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.